Hey everybody, it's Meso. And James, what's up? What are you doing? Well, they're listening or watching okay. Caravan of Garbage, right? <laughs> Correct. Maybe they're probably doing something else. Probably ironing. Stop what you're doing. Stop what you just stop your ironing. Yeah. Leave that iron directly on the shirt. It's flat. That'll get that crease right That's out. That's right. Just move away from it for 20 to 30 minutes. Yep. And listen to this. Full All attention, right? please, to this thing we vaguely watched. Yeah. Right? <laughs> so Black Panther's coming out. So we watched an episode of the Fantastic Four cartoon from the 90s. 90s? Yeah. This episode is Prey of the Black Panther. Correct. I never watched this. I watched Fantastic Four cartoon from like the 60s with where the torch was replaced by Herbie the Robot. Yeah, yeah. Now, I had always heard that they replaced him with Herbie the Robot because they were afraid. Because robots are sexy. Yeah, because robots are sexy. Yeah. And they were afraid that little kids would set themselves on fire. Yes. But I, apparently that's not true. It's just oh. some, some sort of licensing deal with human torches or whatever. But also, if kids would be willing to set themselves on fire, surely they'd also be willing to stretch themselves behind like a pickup truck or something. Yeah. Glue a whole lot of boulders to them. Glue. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> anyway, there's an episode with Black Panther in yeah. it. Yeah. It's a show for kids, yes. so you have to give it a certain amount of leeway. And also, it's got a certain charm to it. Mm. But also, it's crap. <laughs> So it's... It's not that bad. Yeah, I mean, exactly. But, I mean, it's not bad for a, for a cartoon for kids. Yeah, but, but it's we're crap. we're not kids. We're grown-ups. We're grown adult men who love to watch cartoons. So so this episode starts. The Fantastic Four are hanging out in the Baxter building or whatever it is in this continuity. I don't know yeah. what it is. Human Torch is sad about something. He's irrelevant. a real bummer in this episode, man. He's kind of man. a bummer, but he's got great hair. He was dating Crystal of the Inhumans. Yeah, he does mention that. You know, that. our favourite superhero team, the Inhumans? No. No. Anyway, the whole thing's irrelevant. Anyway, they're trapped behind a force field. It's irrelevant. Anyway, <laughs> they're hanging out in their house, and then there's like a little little proximity alert. Yep. They've got an intruder. Who is it but... Black Panther. The Black Panther, yeah. Well, he's spooked because a giant red gorilla ran into his village. That's right. Yeah, okay. All right. okay <laughs> missed that key I, I missed the important backstory. that the, He is spooked that, about the giant red gorilla. And so he takes off his bathrobe, yep. revealing his little underpants. And Brings up like, his Black Panther computer, yep. which is 12 feet tall. It's got four buttons on it <laughs> That's and right. no scream. Anyway, he decides to go to New York. He gets the drop on the thing. Yeah. So it must be, the, it must be them vibranium boots because... He kicks the shit out of him. Yeah. Right? <laughs> <laughs> a few times. Yeah. And then the rest of the four are woken up. Mm. And they, they get in the fantastic car and they realise that they're being lured, lured, lured to the land of Wakanda. What I enjoy about it is they're like, we're approaching Africa in the fantastic car. And there's just a, on their little view screen, there's just all of Africa. the continent of Africa. And it's just Africa on it. <laughs> what happens? Then they arrive at Wakanda. Yeah. And they're surprised to learn uh, that it's not a, a rural African landscape, but instead... It's some sort of weird mechanical forest. It's the same like you see with the Black Panther film. The fake shield is pulled back. Yes, ex except in this case, instead of it being a very advanced hologram of some sort, it's just some weird metal flowers. Yeah, I don't know what, what's going some on Some sort there. of metal, some leaves. And I'm expecting to see this amazing technological advanced city, but like the episode, it's quite crap. It's quite a crap place that you wouldn't want to live in. No, absolutely not. It, it's unpleasant. <laughs> so they have a bit of a bloody... Biffo, don't they? Well, yeah. And he systematically takes them all down. He starts with the human torch, I think. Yep. Puts them in a little glass case. Yep. He's uh, very sucks, sucks out all the oxygen. He's very ineffective in this, the, the human torch in general. Yeah. Yeah. And who's next? Is it Ben Grimm? No, it's the invisible woman. Right. Even though she can turn invisible, he can... Uh, he smells her. He smells her. <laughs> yep. yep. Uh, and then he gets within her force field before she can seal it up. Uh, he stalks the thing. Yep. The mighty thing. Mm -hmm. He, he weakens till, him with, yeah, uh, he with water. He waits till the thing gets a little bit thirsty yeah. and takes Smart. a drink from the fountain. Well, he doesn't drink. He just puts it on his face. He's like, I'm not drinking this. I'm not an idiot. Mm. And the Black Panther's like, you are an idiot you because that's, very much that's so. weakened you big time. Yep. Now I'm going to hit you with some chops to the face. <laughs> yeah. But the thing, he's still got a bit of strength to him. He puts up a bit of a fight, doesn't he? Yeah. He's not, he doesn't go down immediately. The thing is one of the most powerful beings in the Marvel Universe and it's astounding that he didn't punch Black Panther's head right off with like one flick of the finger. Vibranium suit. Though it doesn't look like a vibranium suit. I don't think suit. it is, no. It looks like a cloth it's suit. It's a cloth suit and then underpants. <laughs> yeah, That's it what is. it is, all right? And then he says, I've saved the most dangerous for last. Mr. Fantastic. It's the shortest fight. 
Yeah, that's true. He just cuffs him. That's it. Titanium cuffs is one weakness. Titanium cuffs? Titanium Not cuff. vibranium cuffs. Titanium cuffs. Wow. But then, mm. twist of all twists. Yeah. Uh, it turns out the human torch bloody, bloody, bloody comes to his rescue because in a in a usual suspect style twist. Oh, mate, I couldn't believe it. We, we see a little flashback. There's time enough in this 22 minutes for a flashback, which yeah, is yeah. pretty incredible, that Mr. Fantastic, in fact, went back and he rescued the human torch, who then rescued Invisible woman who then rescued the thing and then when Mr. Fantastic was captured then they all come to his rescue yeah pretty good right yeah. I mean yeah yeah it's okay it's yeah, not yeah. a bad idea I mean he should have thought of that didn't he yeah. instead of stalking them individually but there's a he doesn't want to kill the Fantastic Four he's got his reasons yeah because Claw came once Andy Circus. <laughs> Andy Circus bloody rocked up with his beard and his little his little hat. His little accent. <laughs> his little <laughs> maniacal laugh. Yeah, and so he demands vibranium so he can make his sonic weapons, which can basically make big red gorillas. Mm. Uh, so That's just for starters. That's right. And he's killed Black Panther's father. Yeah. We just shot him with a gun. Wasn't yeah, not, not a red, it's not a red gorilla situation. <laughs> no, it really wasn't. It's not a red gor- gorilla alert. Here's the origin, because in, in the traditional Black Panther mythos... The pantheon of Black Panther stories. Very good. Uh... Wakanda's You're always, welcome! Wakanda's always been a technologically advanced nation. Yeah. In this, it isn't. It's just a nation of sticks and huts. Yes. But after the death of Black Panther's father, he sells some of the vibranium in his kingdom. He goes to school. He goes to school. He learns the most advanced science imaginable. <laughs> he trains himself, and we see a bit of that, and he literally puts his arm like a little table, uh-huh. and then it gets bound up, yep. and then he punches it free. Do you remember that? Yeah, I remember the incredible. I remember the incredible techniques. He it's quite a moment. Yeah. yeah, but anyway, and then he he uses the his incredible super science skills to build this weird little this weird little mechanical forest playground. Yeah, which he then uses to entrap the Fantastic Four to get his skills up to know if he was ready for Claw. You know what you could have done? Shot him. Yes, correct. <laughs> Saved a lot of time, in my opinion. What he's done here is he's spent millions or possibly billions of dollars to build a largely ineffective, very specific trap for the Fantastic Four that didn't work. Guess what? Claw's skill set is completely different to that of the Fantastic Four. You might say it's significantly less than the Fantastic Four. Yeah. You know what he's got? He's got a weird sonic arm. Yeah, he does. That's all he's got. That's he's just he's a got. regular man with one metal arm. It's funny that you mention Claw because then he rocks up at that exact moment. He's got his little sonic cannon. He's yeah. making gorillas and shit. He's like, behold my monsters. And it's just like a couple of elephants or whatever. Yeah, nice. I want to see monsters. Elephant isn't a monster. No. It's an elephant. Mm. We know that. Yeah. From history. <laughs> history has dictated yeah. such. So Reed goes off to fight him with Black Panther. Oh, that's right, yeah. Don't and bring the rest of the team. Why no, would you? No, why would you? Well, Johnny's useless. I mean, you'd he? make it. that'd make it too easy. Yeah. Because again, he's just a man <laughs> who's, I assume, not fireproof. <laughs> I assume he's also not indestructible, like telekinetic bubble proof. Yeah, yeah, right. He's probably also not class 85 strength proof. Oh. That's the thing. He's class 85. That's specific. Reed Richards knocks him into a sound portal. Makes him into a sound portal. And he turns into comic book claw. That's He's right. He's got the full costume. Yeah. And they, abs- they absorb his sonic beams with vibranium and then it falls on some rocks and he shrinks. Yep. Isn't it ironic that his one weakness was what he wanted to get in the first place? Oh, yeah. Some vibranium. <laughs> what was he going to do with it? You know what I mean? It's a really good question. Hopefully not make a bed out of it because that would have done him in, wouldn't no, it? No, he wanted... You may not know this. Fun fact. Yeah. You know, I'm filled with... You know, you know I, am, I am the official handbook of the Marvel Universe. Right. Well, guess what? What? Claw snores. Oh, no. And he just wanted to build a vibranium bed... <laughs> to absorb... To absorb the snores. To absorb them claw snores. So his wife wouldn't leave him. Exactly. Right, that makes sense, yeah. But now, he's shrunk, <laughs> can no longer satisfy his wife, she's going to leave him anyway. Yeah. The ultimate irony. Oh, man. Yeah. They say size doesn't matter, but they're lying. It does when you're microscopic. Correct, yes. <laughs> Definitely. Anyway, he's like, I've avenged my, my, my father, and I've spent my literally my entire life building this weird mechanical forest I'm gonna full of traps. And this suit. Anyway, I'm going to take this off, this suit off, and I'm going to live free in my underpants and my robe <laughs> once again. And they're like, no, no, what Idiots. you should do... <laughs> Is just become a superhero and really stress about it forever. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and he's like, you've made a really good point, all right. Yeah, great. and then he's back into it. There's also a joke at the end. So after Claw gets beaten, yes. Johnny Storm says, well, you, you can say one, one thing, thing about that, that supervillain. Super he gives Big, Big Bang, Bang for, for the buck. buck. <laughs> what the fuck does that mean? It's not a good joke. <laughs> 
It's not a joke. None of his creations went bang. His sonic cannon doesn't really go bang. It doesn't I go mean, bang. bang is a sound, yeah. but he's at no point does anybody go bang. He doesn't bang into non-existence. He's certainly not banging his wife after this, <laughs> after the shrinking incident. So, yeah. Look, Johnny Storm is way off his game in this story. Boy, is he? I, and I get it. I mean, he's, he's, he's lovelorn. I get it. He's no, depressed. Somebody should have pulled him up on it. Or maybe they felt bad. They're just just yeah. give him that. That being said, he didn't none, help at all. None of the other characters laughed when, <laughs> he, when he made the joke. They, they were, I was half expecting one of them to be like, oh, come on, mate. <laughs> Are you okay? I'll buy you a drink. It's all right. There you go. That's uh, this very. That's the episode of Prey of the Black Panther from the Fantastic Four cartoon. And I'm going to recommend you don't watch this one. Yeah, fair enough. Yeah. But, you know, you can. Yeah. But don't. Yeah, don't though. <laughs> there are much better 90s Marvel stuff than this. Maybe it's a great show in general. Seems unlikely though. You know what? It? Don't watch this. Watch another one and let us know <laughs> if it's good. The remainder of the series is good. Absolutely. Anyway, that's thank you for watching this this episode of uh, Caravan of Garbage. It's, it's here every Tuesday. You can just come back. Just Next watch, week. watch another one. There's a huge back catalogue also. Watch an old one. Watch an old one. Watch this one again. Mm. Get caught in an endless loop because you'll watch <laughs> it again and you'll get to the end and I'll be like, watch it again. We also do a podcast called The Weekly Planet where we talk movies and comics and TV shows every Monday. And nice. if you want to give this video a like, oh, that's optional. I mean, you should though. It's optional though. We should let them know it's optional. Oh, is this reverse psychology? No. Is I that think reverse a- psychology? That was. That bit was. All right. <laughs> Thanks for thanks for thanks for this. Thanks for watching. Grab that Jeremy guys. We'll see you next week. Bye.